exercise in self-awareness. And during a crisis, during times like this, actually every day, you should just take a little bit of time to be aware of your actual self. And the self-awareness uh, that I want to uh, add to what our sister uh, gave us, look inside of myself during this crisis time and ask myself, how am I, but particularly during the crisis, how am I perceiving Allah? Am I remembering that he is the authority? Am I remembering that he is in charge? Am I remembering that he is my Rabb? Am I remembering that he is our guardian evolver? Think of those words. The one who cares for his creation and will ensure that he sees his creation uh, reach the destination that he is intended. So that's number one. Uh, the, the, how am I perceiving him? Having that good uh, perception of him. And then uh, when I am uh, having this exercise of self-awareness, remember what else he told us. He says that if you remember me, two different traditions, he says, remember with one Quran, remember me and uh, be mindful of me and I will remember you. What does that mean? That I'm keeping Allah in my heart, keeping Allah in my mind, and he will be with me, as he says in the other tradition. Remember Allah and you'll find him in front of you, right? <laughs> and these are beautiful uh, tools to just give strength to our hearts, strength to our minds, and to remove and to lower some of the anxiety and fear that we may be suffering at this time. So number one, with the exercise of self-awareness, how am I perceiving God? How am I perceiving Allah? Number two, being mindful of him, knowing that that will have and keep me in his uh, ultimate and continuous preservation and protection. Uh, and then lastly, reminding myself of the verses that he gives us in Quran, knowing that as he, he it's a question really uh believe it's sort of zumar uh, the the chapter of zumar he says isn't allah sufficient for his servants isn't allah enough isn't allah sufficient so you know i, I thought of a, a multivitamin a multivitamin you know you need zinc you need a little vitamin c a little bit of that and all of those together is what give you the nutrients but allah is enough allah is enough so he asked that question isn't allah sufficient and the tool that we'll use, the tool that we'll use is also a verse, but it could be our little mantra that we use in this time. When we remind ourselves and we say, Hasbun Allah wa ni'man wa Allah is enough. Allah is enough. He is, he is our protector and he is our source. He, he, is, he is enough and, and, and the source of our uh, protection, right? And, and, and having us uh, in his mercy and in his uh, and all of those things. So Hasman Allah wa Ni'man Wakil, Allah is enough and he's sufficient as a source of protection. So remember these things as we're going through this crisis, as we're going through our days, perceiving Allah properly, remembering him in our hearts, remembering him in our minds, making sure that we're not uh, forgetting who is the ultimate authority and reminding ourselves that he is enough, he is sufficient for all of our affairs. So we pray that Allah blesses us, he gives us the strength, he removes our fears, he removes our anxiety, and that we uh, will see each other uh, through this uh, crisis that we're facing and we'll continue to find inspiration in him uh, and in good programs like we're having this morning with the Islamic Speakers Bureau. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala Muhammad. You know, Suleiman, thank you so much for the beautiful, beautiful inspiration this morning. Jazakallah khair. So uh, we usually do a mindful exercise at the end, which um, if you don't mind, all our participants, please close your eyes, uh, reflect on what the Imam said while you're breathing, and really concentrate on your breath coming in and coming out. Feel the presence of God. Feel the love of God. Take a couple of more breaths. Feel your body relaxed. Take a final breath here. I want to thank Imam Suleiman very much for his inspiration this morning. Thank you all for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow 
when uh, Imam Abdullah Jaber will give our inspiration. You all have a fantastic day, inshallah, and make the world a better place. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.